Hi everyone, I welcome you back to this channel Technical Drawing Masterclass. In our last video, uh, I showed you how you can draw the front elevation of this two bedroomed house that we are looking at. But now, uh, today we are going to handle the rear end elevation. So, for the rear end elevation, still we are going to use our ground floor plan, which is right here. But then, if you are to imagine when you are standing at this point right here, so whatever you will be seeing, on the on the face of the of the building it will be your rear end elevation so we are going to use this ground floor plan to come up with that with the elevation that we want okay so uh let's proceed and i show you exactly how you can go over it so i highlight this drawing then i'll copy it to a free space right here then i'll press escape and after that i will have to rotate this and uh, drawing in the clockwise uh, direction so i'll click at it i'll rotate it like that so after that i'll draw a line right here but before we proceed let me first a little of this from this line that i've just drawn I'll highlight it, then I'll offset it at a distance of 100 millimeters. Then after that, still I'll offset it at distance of 900. Then still from this line here, I'll offset another line at a distance of all at a height of 3,000. That's around 3 meters. So from this point right here, I'm going to draw a line that is perpendicular. Then I'll highlight it. Then I'll just copy it to these other different points. Okay, so when you're done with uh, copying that line at those respective points, what we are left with is uh, to indicate in the windows. So you find that uh, this window one, there are two windows and window two, it's only one window. So remember in our last video when I was showing you how you can draw the front elevation of this same uh, two bedroomed house, I showed you how you can come up with uh, the window. So in this video, I'm just going to copy this window from the front elevation and I'll just paste it in our current drawing that we are handling. So I'm going to copy this window and I'll make sure that I position it in its rightful position. So we are done with that. So remember window 2 is kind of small and it's located where the WC is. So first I'll first get its length which is 600 right here and its height from the splash apron will be 1.8 meters that's 1800 millimeters so right there so i'll highlight my or activate my layer for windows i'll use the rectangle command then i'll draw a square whose dimensions are 600 by 600 i'll explode that square then I'll highlight that line. I'll offset it at a distance of 300. Then these other lines, I'll offset them at a distance of 50. So still I'll highlight that line and I'll click at the offset command and I'll offset that line at a distance of 10. Then I'll click at the trim command and I'll trim off those lines. There are excess.
Okay, so we have our window too, right here. So I'll just move it to this point right here. So next, I'll copy this tag, then I'll move it to that point right there. Then I'll hit escape or edit this one. So I'll trim off those lines, even these ones. Then I'll highlight these lines because I no longer need them, that's why I've deleted them. Then also these ones. Okay, when you're done with sorting out that, I'll highlight that line, then I'll offset it down at a distance of 200 millimeters. Then I'll click at this arrow next to the trim command, then I select uh, extend command, then I extend those two perpendicular lines and down. So I'll select the trim command, then I'll trim off those lines. And also I'll trim off those other lines. So what we are left with is to allocate these two points of the roof at our front elevation. So I'll select the layer 4 roof which is right here. Then I'll use the line command. This point right here I'll raise a perpendicular roughly at that point. Then I'll highlight that line. Then I'll copy it to this other point which is right there so next still using the line command I'll draw a line of any length then I'll press the tab key at the keyboard then I'll put in 30 which is the angle at which I want that line to be inclined so I'll press the enter key and I'll, I'll press the escape key then I'll do the same thing right here but then for this case, this line is going to be inclined at an angle of 150. So still I'll press the tab key on my keyboard, then I'll put in 150 degrees. So I'll press the escape command, then after that, at this point where this line here intersects with this line, at this point here, I draw a line. It should be uh, meeting where these two point, these two lines meet. So this line right here represents uh, this line because if you were to analyze how this hip roof is arranged, you find that uh, at a certain point at the top of the roof, it's going to be a flat surface or a flat edge. So this is the same thing I'm trying to illustrate right here. So after that, I'll highlight that line then I'll offset it at a distance of 50 and I'll do the same thing at these other edges so right here I'm trying to create the reach of the roof okay so when you're done first move this one this side then I want to handle this one independently. So from this point, I'm going to put uh, the grid lines. So before putting the grid lines, you must draw a boundary. So in our last video, I showed you how you can you can draw a boundary. So I first draw a square of any dimensions. Right now, I'm using 1,000 millimeters. Then I'll put it at that point. Then I'll copy it. I want to copy it to a certain point right here. So the best way to get this point right here, you snap this square at that edge or at that point, then move it up like this. Then also you snap the same square at that point, then you move it horizontal. So what are those? 
two green lines meet that's the point where you should uh, position the square so i'll just click at that point so next from that point right there i'll draw a rectangle up to that point i hope we are following from this line i'll offset another line the distance of 75 millimeters then i'll click at that arrow i select extend then i'll extend this line until it meets up um, this line right here okay so remember we are drawing the rear end elevation so for the rear end elevation um the allocations of the grid lines they are going to be the same grid lines but then you'll find that this grid line will be this side in other words the arrangement of the grid lines will be opposite to these ones so i'm just going to transfer these dimensions but starting from this side i hope you get my point so we'll start with this grid line which is named for so its distance from here up to grid line 3 it's 3150 so i'll first highlight that line then i'll offset it at a distance of 3 1 Five zero. Then I'll click this side. The next distance from grid line three to grid line two it's one thousand six hundred and fifty. So I'll transfer that measurement right here. Then the last grid line one it's at four thousand one hundred and fifty millimeters from grid line two. So I'll click at this line right here, then I'll offset it at a distance of 4150. So after drawing those lines, I'll highlight the two squares and the rectangle that I've just drawn and I'll delete them. Then after that, I'll copy this tag right here. At this point, and I'll also copy it right there. That's all right there. So I'll edit this one to one. Then I'll edit this one to two. Then I'll edit this one to three. So I'll highlight these grid lines. Then I'll turn them to grid lines. Then I'll also make them weighted. Okay. So next, I'm going to put the dimensions. So I'll, hi I'll highlight my layer for dimensions, then I'll click at the dimension command. So I'll click at that point right there. Then after that, I'll click at this dimension, then I hover my cursor at this blue dot, then I'll select continue dimension. Okay, this is perfect. So next, I'm going to put the hatching at the roof. First, I'll, I'll select my layer for hatch. Then I'll click at the hatch command. Then I'll select this uh, command right here. Then I'll, I'll give that hatch a, an angle of 45. Then I'll give it a scale of 50. Then I'll hit enter on my keyboard so when you're done next i'm going to put the decorative molds at the edges of the walls so for this case i will just copy these molds right here Make sure that you have highlighted each and everything. So just copy it. This point. So then I'll put some dimensions right here. The reason as to why we put uh, these dimensions is to help uh, the, con the contractor who is on site 
to easily uh, locate the height and of the window and position them right in the right way. So when you're done with uh, putting these dimensions, we're going to do some labeling of the rear end elevation. But then you find that some labels, they are the same as the ones we have at the front elevation. So I'm going to just copy them to this rear end elevation. Like this one, this one. Then I'll click copy. And I'll just transfer them and I'll position this one to where it's supposed to be. I'll hit the move command and I'll put it right here. So next, I'll also copy these labels that show the different le levels of the building. I'll hit copy then I'll move them to this drawing. Then after that, when you're done with uh, allocating these labels, you shall copy this also to our rear end elevation. So I'll snap it at that point and I'll move it down a little bit. Then after that, first push it further down at that point. So I'll edit this one too. rear end elevation and I'll edit this one to 5. So we have come to the end of this video and if you have really found something helpful and it has added value to you, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe then also comment to the video. Uh, if there is anything that I've left out, please let me know in the comment section. You can uh, share this kind of content to your friends and relatives and each and every one that you feel like is in need of this kind of content. Thanks for watching, we'll meet next time. And also uh, in our next video, I'll be showing you how you can uh, come up with uh, the east end elevation and the west end elevation. For those two, we are going to handle them at once, such that we can proceed with other drones. Okay, thanks for watching, we'll meet next time.